Now, Ahmed, I want to come to you. You represent Bank Alphala in the, on the innovation side. Uh, so can you tell us something about uh, what are customers' expectations, what are the experiences, and how can, whether it's a bank or a fintech, what are the kinds of things they should do to attract customers into the fold? Thank you, Kamran. Uh, I think uh, we need to look at it in the context of disruption first. Disruption, as we know, is not taking place at the core banking at, per se. Uh, it is not in the principles of banking that the disruption is coming in. This, the disruption is coming in in the periphery. So uh, it's how we come in touch with our customers, how we interact with them, and how we deliver the products and services that they need. That's where the disruption is coming in. And I would like to relate here with the point that Munib, one of the uh, panelists here, has mentioned earlier. Uh, looking at Jazz Cash and Easy Pesa, both of them, uh, they are uh, quite active in actually digitizing and obviously bringing that cash and converting it into an e-money or, or, or an electronic money. But similarly, like, we have to resolve that last mile, and the last mile is cash. Uh, as we just discussed a little while before, the pie is so big enough for everybody to participate in, whether it's banks or non-banking uh, entities. So uh, the bottom line is, how would you deliver that customer experience that the customer so is aware of today? Smartphone has put everybody, all the users, at the center stage, so they know what is the bare minimum level of customer experience they would expect from any new app or any new online business that is out there. <clears throat> so I would take it further to a point and would like to connect it with the kind of the new concept that is now kicking in into different businesses and that's called design thinking. It's not something that we can take it as uh, a recipe to answer whatever the woes that we have around the, the customer experiences today, but it's provide you with a broader framework that you can apply and, and then actually figure out how to apply it towards the problem that you have at hand. And uh, So you've mentioned this term called design thinking? Yeah. So for our audience, can you give us a little bit of elaborate, what do, you, what do you really mean by this design thinking? Because it seems like a strange term to most of us. Uh, lately, if you look at a few of the banks in Pakistan, um, some of them are present here uh, in the audience today as well one of the, uh, the sponsors, they have set up the innovation lab and the concept is that typically the problem lies at the product managers or the product owners at the various different organizational, let's say, banks. We focus on the end stuff. End stuff is the number thing. We do not focus on the flow. How do we get to reach out to the customer? And from that point onwards, how would we actually get that customer active or a happy customer at the end of the day? So we need to relate to the customers design thinking as a methodology, uh, it allows you to implement it in a five-step process. So the, the five steps are starting with the empathize, second is the uh, define, third is the ideate, fourth is prototype, and finally fifth stage is called testing. So this is a cyclical process through which you actually start off with the problem at hand, and then you end up delivering it, keeping in view all the stakeholders that are part of that particular problem or a, or a pain point. So you mean to say these are the types of things that smaller companies would do in order to get very, very close and intimate with their customers' experiences? Yeah. Uh, and that, sure, that really most is of the something that, but that's uh, what Nadeem Sheikh told us earlier in the morning as well, right. that there are so many use cases lying out there which just need to be tapped into. Right. So design thinking is a process which can help anybody who wants to do it get, get there. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, if you look at all the other industries which have been disrupted, and we are very fond of actually uh, talking of that at different forums. Banking or financials per se has not been. Yeah. We love to talk about Kareem and Uber and yeah. GrabPay and uh, we don't have re any, really any banking. In Absolutely, so examples. it's not that the banking itself is going to be disrupted, it's how we actually engage with our customers. So you're lucky enough to get a customer visit your website or let's say download the app, but from that point onwards, how would you guide that customer through an obstacle course from the start till the end finish line, that you would be able to convert that into a happy a customer of yours. Happy, happy. Okay, great. So, so Ahmed is telling us some of the mechanics or robotics behind how can we actually get there, and you know that that's what that's the kind of uh, conversation at least I wanted to have on my panel because I've been on many panels which talk about what can be done, but I wanted Ahmed to tell us about how it can be done. So thank you, Ahmed. 